Hey everyone, it's Thursday morning, and actually it's the official first day of winter, and I thought I'd check in with everyone, and I've got on my Steven Universe varsity jacket that I love. It actually has a cheeseburger on the back for his cheeseburger backpack, but anyway, so happy Thursday, happy getting ready for Christmas, which is on Monday, and your last minute shopping. I've actually been up since 3 a.m., and I'm waiting to get into work. I've got some time to kill since I'm super duper mega early. So I thought I'd kind of check in with everyone. I hope everything's going well. I hope everyone's blessed. I hope you're getting through the holidays as best you can because I know it's a very stressful time for a lot of people. A lot of people, you know, get moves, get attitudes, and they have things going on. So what I actually wanted to do in this little quick snippet because there's some other things that I'll probably, you know, upload a little bit later on. But I just kind of wanted to talk, you know, kind of from a self-help perspective, if you will. So the thing is, you know, life, I feel like it's short. Life is a precious gift. A lot of times we take that for granted. We go through it and just don't enjoy the moments. We don't enjoy the people that are around us and the things like that because we get so caught up. And a lot of times change isn't hard. Change is a very, very difficult thing. And relationships if you're in one, they can be a very, very complicated thing. One thing that, you know, I'm starting to find on my personal journey is you have to dig deep down inside. You shouldn't have resentment towards a person to the point that it causes you to do things that you probably shouldn't do that go against your morals and things like that. You just have to learn how to deal with it. And communication is a very, very important part of that. You should be able to talk. You should be able to sit down, have a conversation and a lot of times those conversations aren't going to be easy, and sometimes you may need a third party in those conversations, but you have to be able to work through and to get through things. And a lot of times there may be feelings of you're just not ever going to be good enough or, or do the right thing or make the right choices and satisfy that person. If that seems to be a reoccurring theme, then that's probably a good indicator that you need to start rethinking things because you can't change another person. You can only work on yourself. And someone that has passed away I remember a message that she gave a long long time ago she said don't let anyone steal your light be positive be a beacon of light be a beacon of hope be a beacon of positivity don't let anybody take that away from you whenever there's problems you should be able to talk through it you should be able to get through it life is too short to be miserable and to go on every day with this, this sense of dread this overwhelming sense you know there's a lot that happens in the world there's a lot of people that don't wake up each day, and I'm thankful to be counted in that number of those who are here. You know, I'm yet standing. I could have been gone a long time ago, but I'm still here, and I'm thankful for that. I may not always show it, but there's thankfulness in my soul. There's thankfulness in my spirit. There's thankfulness in my heart, and I really hope that things, at least on a personal level, will work out and they'll go to the mountains, you know. But I don't really believe in giving up on things. I believe in, you know, putting in a lot of work. But I guess it's, it's you know, you have to know when you kind of do need to quit. But something that you've put a lot of time in, you know, it's worth seeing it through. It's not worth being done with it. I, at least I don't believe that it is. You know, just take a moment, you know. Enjoy life. Enjoy the things about life. Enjoy those around you, those that have cared for you that you may not have shown that you care. And find ways to do that, even if those ways aren't ways that they would probably be appreciative of, I guess, is probably the best way of putting it. But life is a journey. In the moment that I stop growing and that I stop changing and I stop experiencing things, it's probably the moment that I shouldn't really be alive anymore, that I probably should be deceased, to be honest. Because life is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful and it's a scary thing. But if you don't take chances, if you don't fully experience it, and that's something that I feel like I don't do a lot sometimes because I get so caught up in just the way things are, the way the regimen that I have set forth, that I'm not willing to yield and to be flexible. But you have to learn how to do those things. And like around the holidays, it gets hard. It gets really, really tough. You know, one thing that's been keeping me going lately, you know, I've been really getting back into listening to music. You know, I've been listening to my genres kind of pop all over the place, but I've been kind of going all over the place and trying to get back into that vibe of listening to things and, 
you know, trying to kind of go to another space. So instead of going into anger, you're kind of more in a zen state. You're feeling a lot better. You're able to woo that sort of thing. But anyhow, just thought I'd kind of share that with everyone. I hope you have a great Thursday, and we'll talk later on.